welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a full turn on beam. So let's go. Before you start, you want to stretch. While doing this, you want to make sure that you're in a gym with padded mats around the beam. And a coach's supervision. I have a coach behind the camera. For the starting position, if you're a righty, your right leg's going to be out in front, like so. And if you're a lefty, your left leg's going to be out. Now for the turn. If you're ready, you're going to put your arms like this, and then you turn this way, and you can place your arms however you want, like this, this, or like this. I like to do it like this because I have more control over my full turn. For lefties, you want to start like this, and then go this way. Same thing. Next, onto the second part of it. You start like this. I like to go like this because I get more balance. And then I put my arms out, and I do this motion quickly so that I have control, but also it's not noticeable. So, quickly, and up. For the ending position, you want to land and releve, and then you want to bring that foot down. Because you want to show the judges that you have control over the skill. When you kick out, you're going to kick on releve, dummy play, and then finish the skill. During the turn, you want to make sure that your foot is not resting on top of your knee, but that it is pointed and right near the knee. You can put it a little bit down, but you don't want it too high because then you'll be a flamingo. During the full turn, you want to make sure that your core is really tight, so are your arms and the leg that you're doing the turn on. Throughout the whole turn, you want to make sure that you're keeping a really good releve, because if you're not keeping a good releve, you're kind of going to bounce around the beam like this. And it just doesn't look pretty, and you don't have a lot of control over the turn. When you're doing the turn, you want to make sure that you have a spot, which is not spotting like a coach coming and helping you. You want to make sure that you have something that you keep your eye on at all times, and you can look at the beam as well, but make sure that your chin is up when you do. And when you come around, you're going to wait a little bit and then turn your head, and coming around, you want to spot that same thing again, and then that's when you finish. And don't forget, practice makes perfect, so keep on practicing. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time, bye!